To install the plugin, simply upload the zip file you've downloaded here. To make the plugin works, you would need to enable this option, and this option to make it work on cell phone. If you want, Ajax Endpoint is quite a technical function, in short, it affects the API returning result. Generally, we recommend enabling Ajax only use REST API. If your site cannot handle Ajax, this option controls how many times an email address owner can spin the wheel, and this option controls time gap between two consecutive spins of an email. First, we'll learn how to create a wheel like this. All the wheel segments are added in the table in wheel settings. Add more segments by cloning them or remove segments. Drag and drop to change your position in wheel and check by the preview. Select the value for the segment so when the user rotates and land on this one, they'll receive prize or not. Edit the wheel label. If the label contains fixed price, like when you use this short code, show the currency as code or symbol with this option. And adjust the text size with this option. The value input field is only editable if the coupon type is existed or generated coupon. If it's non or wheel prizes, this field can't be edited. Probability represents how likely customer is to land on this segment. Total percentage of probability of all segments must be 100%. To change the probability, adjust weight. If the segment has prize, control the number of prizes available in stock to give customers in quantity field. Leave it minus 1 to make the prizes limitless. Each time a customer wins a prize, its quantity will be automatically reduced by 1. Change the wheel size with this option. and make the wheel show fully or partially here. Lastly, for the wheel configuration, control how long the wheel spins and how many spins per second with these two options. You can select color manually like this or set the color automatically for all segments here. Enable this option and color is set randomly from predefined sets for each visitor. For the wheel pointer, select the position for it with this option. In the center zone of the wheel, you can add image or select color for it or both. Same for wheel pop-up background. Here you select color for wheel border and dots on the border. Add an effect for wheel background here, if you want, these options is to customize the text color, content, spin wheel button label, label color, button color, select font of text for this content, enable options for customers to hide the wheel, and add GDPR checkbox if you want, that's pretty much it for the wheel design, if there's any extra customization, you can add custom CSS to achieve it here. To allow spinners to receive random prizes after spinning, you need to assign prizes in coupon type. There are four types of prizes. Existing coupon, which is created in WooCommerce coupon settings. If you select this coupon type, enter the coupon code here. Second type, generated coupon. A new coupon code is generated each time user spins, inheriting the configuration in the settings tab. The next type, wheel prizes. Each time you create new wheel prizes here, the title will be available here for you to choose. For this type, other than the coupon settings, just like WooCommerce coupon, you can have a difference winning message and redirect users to a different address when hitting apply coupon button. The last type is custom, which has no specific settings. Simply add the value here. The wheel pop-up by default can be opened by a pop-up icon. Select one you like and select color for it. You may add background color for the pop-up icon and select a position to show it.
other than pop-up icon, you can trigger the wheel pop-up in a different way, select them here. I'll make an example with this option, show the pop-up, after visitors scroll down to 30% of the page. Modify how and when the wheel pop-up will be available again, after being closed with these three options, and assign on which page the wheel will be displayed with these four options, for example, make the wheel only available on home page, then visitors can't see the wheel on any other pages, even though they did the action to trigger the wheel. By default, there's always an input field for spinner's email. Because there must be an address to send the prizes to, but you can enable two more fields. Name and phone number input fields. The result after spinning can be sent to both spinner and website admin. With spinners, they can receive an email if winning a prizes. Edit email content here. You can add a shop now button, it's convenient for user to use the prizes, and it encourages them to buy more. And also suggest them some more nice items for reference. The notification when someone wins a prize can be sent to admin as well. You can edit the email to admin here. This field is to add a custom address, which will receive this admin notification. That's it for the emails. Now, let's see how we set up message on front end after spinning. There are two types of messages. One for the winner. For this type of message, other than the congratulations, you can also add winning effect and an apply coupon button, which will redirect winners to the page you want. If they already have items in cart, redirecting them cart, or checkout page, with these shortcodes, can automatically apply the coupon they just won. For unlucky spinners, simply encourage them with a message customized here. Connect to an email marketing service to add the email address to your list. This function is useful if you're using a platform for marketing email campaigns. Our plugin can add the email address after spinning to your email list on these platforms for future purpose. Like when you have marketing campaign, you need credential to connect depend on which platform you use. You may need API or token. Let's make an example with Sendinblue. First, enable this option. Then get the API key in my Sendinblue account, go to SMTP and API, API keys. You can copy the current API, or generate a new key, I'll create a new key. Then place the key here, after saving and synchronizing successfully, you'll see the email lists are available here. I have three email lists, now I want to choose one list, to collect spinners emails. Let's try new launches notification. Henceforth, the new spinner's address will go to this list. For existed spinner's addresses, they are not automatically transferred to the list. You need to add them manually. For example, Sendinblue allows to import contact via file. Our plugin has the function to export information to a CSV file. Then I can export the existed emails here and import them to my list on Sendinblue. Done. This function is to protect your website from spam and abuse. At the moment, we support two versions. This version requires the user to click a checkbox, indicating they are not a robot. And this version allows you to verify if an interaction is legitimate without any user interaction. You need site key and secret key to use this function. I'll make an example with V3.
the email addresses of all spinners are saved here, along with their other information, like their first time spinning, name, phone number, how many times they spin, last spin date, the wheel segment label, and the coupon code when they won. When an email reaches the limit of how many times it can spin, system will send a spam warning. In that case, you need to remove that email address in this list to allow them to spin again. Also ensure to remove them in the trash bin as well. Report synthesizes the total spins, email addresses, and coupons. If you need details, select the time range and export a CSV file.